Good morning, everyone. Just going to take a second here and make sure I still have sound. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Unless you can't hear me. And <laughs> There's definitely a lag here. My phone says I haven't even started yet. There we go. I just want to make take two seconds and make sure I have sound. I do. All right. So that is good we have sound perfect hi my name is Julie I'm the owner and founder of Lady Fall Dies Apothecary you're either watching this on my Facebook page or my YouTube channel um, or potentially got shared somewhere wherever you are watching from um, thank you for being here and welcome um, this morning's video is about uh, the weekly forecast so this is what I like to call basically the cliff notes version um, I find a lot of times with the apps for, you know, your astrology and everything, it's way too much. Like, I signed up for one app and it was like a mile long um, and I'm like, I don't have time to read this. <laughs> I just want to know the basic energies of the day uh, just to help me kind of prepare for the day and to help me plan out my week. And so that is what this video is for. So. Before we get started here, let me see if I can find a leaf I can pull off here. I got two little leaves, but that's okay. We'll save that one for another day. All right, so just pulled off a little leaf here. For this purpose, this is all we need. So some for you guys. And then we will pull our new card for the week. So last week's card was a blessing for the right words. So we'll put that back in the deck. And go ahead and shuffle them. Whoa. That was like, that's it. Sometimes I just have it. blessing on your creativity. I don't think we've had this one before. So I'll go ahead and get a picture of that. And I'll put it right there so I don't forget because I do tend to forget. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Shall we? Shall we? Can't talk this morning apparently. Um, and apparently my phone is not on mute fix that. There we go. <laughs> All right. Let's jump in here. All right. So today is Monday, um, the 21st of March. Uh, second day of spring, right? <laughs> so, um, Today's energy is going to be um, about Mercury. Um, it's in harmony with Jupiter. So we like those words of in harmony. Um, so it's going to bring um, Jupiter energy is all about um, op optimism and positive outlook. Is It's going to be one of those days I can't talk, I guess. Um, so seeing the bright side of things, um, being very positive, very upbeat energy for today. So should be an overall good day. Um, with Mercury being in there, um, Mercury is all about your communication and where it's in harmony. Um, again, so should be very good energy, good communication, good conversations, very positive uh, day. Um, so it's also a really good day to get any kind of work done um, that you might need to be getting done. Um, or it's really even a good day to even play a little bit. So um, just that positive um, outlook, you know, is going to help you really get done whatever it is that you just need to get done today. So really good energy there. Uh, today's color is pink. And um, I picked some Apophyllite just to help tap into that Jupiter energy um, of stay positive and 
and it's hard to see it's a white stone on a white card I don't know why they didn't put something <laughs> around it to make it show a little better but so a puff light for today and so Tuesday the 22nd uh, the moon is entering Sagittarius so um, Sagittarius is the um, the Sagittarius is my sign so there's a lot that I know about it so it's like what do I share about it um, but it's also going to bring that positive energy um, about the future. So um, a good day to uh, focus on goals, uh, do any planning or steps or actions or whatever it is that you need to do to get you another step closer to your goals. Um, it's a really good day for manifesting and um, some positive affirmations, you know, and I find like the best one is just like, I got this. Um, you know, it pretty much covers whatever uh, you've got going on, um, you know, so uh, a lot of times I just have to tell myself, you got this, you know, um, so uh, Tuesday's color is also pink, and I don't really own any pink, so, um, but I picked some malachite, and uh, malachite is really good for transformation and manifesting. So um, if you really want to be manifesting something tomorrow, work with some malachite. Uh, Wednesday, the 23rd, um, Mercury is in harmony with Neptune. So again, it's in harmony. So those are words we like, or at least I like, especially when it's involving Mercury. Um, conversations um, should be... Um, full of understanding and compassion. I'm not sure if I really said that the way I want to, but um, so if you have um, something that's been uh, an issue between you and a friend or a relative or a partner or whatever, um, Wednesday would be a really good day to sit down and have a conversation about that. Try to work things out because um, your conversation um, is going to be very understanding, very compassionate. Um, you know, so, uh, and again, remember that that energy is going to be on the other person as well as yourself. So, um, may affect them a little different depending on, you know, their sign and where their placements are and things like that. But the overall energy, um, will pretty much be the same. So, you know, if it's a good conversation day for you, it's going to also be a good conversation day for them. So again, if you've got any issues uh, or at work, maybe you've got some issues at work that you need to uh, talk to an HR person or a supervisor or a boss or whatever. Um, Wednesday would be a really good day to to do that. So, um, so really just talk out any kind of misunderstandings with whoever it is that you have a misunderstanding with. Um, and, you know, it's also going to be really good about just kind of letting go of those grudges. Um, whatever uh, you might be carrying around. Um, side note on that, my um, my input on holding grudges is it's harmful to you and it doesn't really affect the other person too much. I mean, if you were close friends and something happened and, you know, and things like that, you know, it very well could affect both of you. But um, for the most part, the little grudges that we hold against people um nine out of ten times they don't even know that <laughs> we're holding a grudge against them so all it's doing is affecting us and it's not affecting them and it's you know making us um you know uh, tap into that negative energy um it's making us unhappy it's uh, affecting our health and like i said it's not doing anything to them so you know just kind of let go of those grudges um I'll tell you, sure. Uh, there's a store in town here that I am definitely not happy with, um, the young man that works there. And, um, you know, so I'm like, you know what? It's fine. It's good. I'm not going to be uh, hateful or argumentative or I don't, if somebody says they go there, I don't talk bad about them or anything like that. But I don't go there either. Um, so that's just the way, you know, um, I just avoid that store. There's plenty of other stores around. <laughs> um, but, you know, I don't badmouth them. I don't, um, you know, 
anyway so just let them go they don't they don't really um, do you any good so Wednesday's color is light green and um, I picked some smoky quartz and it says let it go so if you got any of those grudges that you're holding on to uh, just go ahead and let those go so all right uh, Thursday yeah Thursday uh, Thursday the 24th uh, the moon is entering Capricorn um, everything's about my signs is Capricorn is my moon sign um, so uh, very motivated very focused um, very goal oriented uh, very um, success driven and when I say success that doesn't mean um, being rich or being like a CEO of a major corporation um, success is whatever you've set your goal at you're going to be successful at it so um, maybe it's to be um, you know a farmer maybe it's to be a beautician maybe it's to be a fireman whatever it is for the Capricorn that their goal is um, they will be successful at it so that's what I'm saying that's what I mean when I say success driven um, so it's a really good day to tap into that energy. So any um, to-do lists, um, tasks, uh, things to get you ahead, again, things to get you closer to whatever your goal is. Um, we just, or I just talked about um, the, the um, God, the full moon on Friday and Astara and the energies around that and it was all about um future planning starting over um letting go of anything that's not serving us and um rebirth and growth and again i really feel like the energies of this week coming really kind of still tap into that you know we've got really positive energy on both monday and tuesday um we've got uh, good communications on wednesday uh, we've got um, success driven on Thursday. So it's really still kind of carrying over that same energy. And it's really going to give us that really nice boost that we need uh, to do whatever it is we want to do. For me, you know, I'm my big focus right now is finishing school so that I can um, open my business. But at the same time, I still have all these little things that I have to kind of work on um, so that I don't just finish school and then have to start opening my business. So I'm trying to do both at the same time and get these little steps done, these little things that I can get done ahead of time. So, you know, think of the big picture of what you want, but think of all the little things that you're going to need to do to get there and, and work on those. So, um, so back to Thursday. Um, it's really about doing whatever you've set your mind to doing on Thursday. So that energy of the Capricorn and success is really going to just help you push forward and, and get that done. Thursday's color is purple and I picked red Jasper. Just get in there and take action. Just get it done. <laughs> All right, so Friday, the 25th, um, it's the last quarter moon um, in, in Capricorn. And uh, so the last quarter moon, we don't really talk about the quarter moons and the waning and waxing moons a whole lot, but um, I wanted to just touch base a little bit on it today. So um, during the last quarter moon, um, that's the time of, again, it's the restarting of the phase of the moon um, so it's like the cycle has completed and it's starting over so again we're back in that um, rebirth starting over new cycle kind of thing so that's why I kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit today because I still feel like that's really still tapping into that same energy of the full moon and Ostara energy um, the spring equinox of, of rebirth and um, growth so uh, wrap things up um, <clears throat> and so kind of think about what it was that you had manifested during the new moon not what we released at the, the full moon but what we were manifesting at the new moon and kind of um, evaluate that and see 
how that was, how you've done, um, maybe what you need to do more, um, and see if you can kind of wrap that up. Um, and if you can't, that's okay. At the next new moon, we can work on the same things or we can work on something different. There's really no uh, rule as to what way you have to do it. Um, <coughs> but if you could kind of wrap that up, and again, using all those energies around us right now of positive, getting things done, communication being good, um, you know, uh, really tapping into all of those energies and, and getting things done that we need. Um, that are going to help us, you know, in, in our own lives. Um, so again, tie up any loose ends. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I think I covered everything. So on my notes. Um, so Friday's color is navy. And um, I picked moonstone. <laughs> Moon says moonstone. Moonstone says live your purpose. So again, just using all the energies that are around us right now that are coming forth for us to um, our benefit and use them to help us really live our purpose. What is it that you really want to be doing? Are you doing it? Um, what do you need to, to get to be able to do it? Um, so really work with that moonstone on Friday. Saturday, the 26th, uh, the moon is moving over into Aquarius. Um, so Aquarius are um, the outside of the box people. <laughs> um, they are, Aquarius is a, a, is, I, is a tricky one for me. Um, they are about themselves, but they are about humanity as a whole. <laughs> So, you know, that's kind of a weird um, mix there, but um, they like to be in service of humanity as a whole. Not quite the same way as Virgo likes to be in service. Um, Virgo likes to be in service of, like, more individual, where Virgo, uh, where Aquarius is all about humanitarian as a whole. Um, not like the people at their work or, well, I mean, they're part of humanitarians, humans, but they're not focused on like necessarily the people at work or their friends or their family. Uh, they're very more concerned about people as a whole. Um, so try something new, try something out of the box, um, try something um, that's going to be Again, this is tricky for me for some reason. I don't know why. I, Aquarius is one of those ones where I'm like, I just don't, I don't really get it. But, um, <laughs> so try being your authentic self in service to humanitarians, to Mother Nature. Um, so, you know, if you've got an, uh, uh, something that you can do that's going to be helpful to, um, you know, humanitarian as a whole and I mean we all do things you know we recycle um you know and things like that you know, we you know or I I think most of us do you know and I try to be good to nature and not take things that I don't need and give back things um you know as I can and stuff like that but you know um try doing something as your authentic self that's going to be helpful to humanitarians, um, to humans. Um, so if you come up with an idea, I'd be interested to hear what it is. I mean, yeah, we can always, you know, go volunteer, uh, go work at, you know, the food pantry or the soup kitchen or something like that. But <clears throat> if there's something you can do that's even bigger picture than that, um, I'd love to hear what it is. So, um, but anywho, Saturday's color is metallic blue. I don't make these up. <laughs> I don't, I love blue, but I don't think I have anything that's metallic blue. <laughs> um, so for Saturday, I picked some, uh, blue appetite 
and it says get out of your comfort zone so again think outside the box uh, do something that you haven't done before I'm gonna think on that and see if I can come up with something something to do on Saturday All right. and so let's wrap it up with Sunday the 27th uh, the mercury the mercury I'm telling you guys mercury enters Aries and Aries is my rising sign <laughs> so yeah most of this week is uh, going to be uh, very interesting for me I think it's going to be very positive great energy I'm kind of I not kind of I'm super excited about the, this week's energies um, so mercury entering Aries um, this one could be a little challenging for us though or at least for me um, it's not in conflict with Aries um, so it's not necessarily going to be bad energy um, but Mercury is again all about our communication and I struggle with my throat chakra either I don't speak up for myself or on the other side I blur everything and am not always very um, tactful <laughs> when things come out sometimes and that's not on purpose um, but I can I've been told many times that I'm very bold or I'm very assertive or uh, very um, you know off-putting with my communication <laughs> and again that's my Aries um, Aries is um, all about um, you know it's uh, the sign of God of War um, but um, you know it's not just about that um, like I said there's lots of layers to all the zodiac signs but um, Aries for me um, really does uh, <laughs> it's like it's attached right here for me <laughs> and I can't really get that to move um, so <laughs> when you know Mercury is in Aries um, you know that's kind of like a but anyway we're going to work with it and we're going to work with the energy and we're going to balance the energy and we're going to hopefully use the energy to um, our benefit, right? So that's what these videos are all about is being prepared. Um, so um, what you may expect on Sunday, which I'm glad I'm not going to be at work. <laughs> I'll have to say that. Yeah. Um, is it could be spontaneous um, decisions but it could also be impulsive decisions. So be aware of that. Um, if you are making an impulsive decision, uh, you might want to try to stop yourself and take a step back and think about it. and Or just be like, you know what, maybe I'm just going to wait a day or two before I really decide on that. So um, be aware of that. Um, but it's also going to be very assertive conversation. So yeah that's where I'm nervous <laughs> um, so speak your truth um, you know and that's again one of the things that I have an issue with I don't always speak up for myself speak my truth um, something that is a constant uh, work in progress for me um, but speak it with compassion and patience and again uh, my um, that Aries energy takes over <laughs> For me and it's very my communication sometimes most times is very bold very direct and um, like I said it can come off to some people as harsh or it can come off as off-putting to people and um, that is definitely not my intention um, but I don't tend to sugarcoat things and I don't tend to do idle chit chat and small talk <laughs> um, it's not my thing um, but sometimes people um, don't like that that's the way that um, I communicate so um, but just try to avoid any type of aggressiveness um, that you might be feeling so if you start to feel like that aggressiveness is coming out like you're getting angry you're gonna spout off something that you might be sorry <laughs> for later you know take a time out um, I, I've talked about this many times as well um, I've often given myself a timeout, um, you know, when I can feel that my um, anger is rising and I can feel like, okay, I'm going to just like snap on this person and go off. 
um, I'm like, you know what? I just need a few minutes. I'll be back. <laughs> and, you know, um, I've done it at work. I've done it at home. Um, you know, I'll just go, just be like, I gotta go pee. <laughs> and, um, you know, go down and, and sit in the restroom for a minute if you need to. Um, or, you know, just go, go for a walk or, uh, go sit outside for a minute. Sorry, I feel like I gotta sneeze. Whatever it is when you feel that, um, aggressive, uh, communication going to be coming out, um, just, you know, and I'm not saying that whatever you're going to say doesn't need to be said, um, <laughs> but we don't want to say it, um, mean or, um, hateful or, um, you know, angry, um, which is often what we do. Um, you know, I'm guilty of it myself. Um, you know, somebody just pushes the buttons too many times and, um, you know, you fly off the handle and say mean things. Um, but, uh, try to just give yourself that time out. Um, and if you don't give yourself that time out and it got, it does happen, um, don't be too hard on yourself. Um, you know, um, I have a coworker and I love her to death. Um, because there's been many times that I have snapped at her <laughs> and, um, and not because of her, because, you know, somebody else in the office has, uh, agitated me. And, um, I, you know, I always afterwards, I'm like, oh my God, I did it. I snapped at her. It wasn't her fault. It wasn't about her. And, you know, I go over and I'm like, I am so sorry. And she's always like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, no, don't say that. <laughs> like, I need to apologize. I need to take responsibility for that. I need to, you know, uh, uh, I need to make that up to you that I did that to you. And don't let me off the hook. So, um, you know, we can take ownership for those things and apologize as well. So, you know, don't, don't be overly hard on yourself if it does happen. Um, you know, we plan and we try and, um, sometimes it doesn't always work that way. Um, but you know, um, we can apologize. We can make amends. Um, so anywho, Sunday's color is yellow and, um, I picked some Lemurian quartz and it says practice patience. So I thought that was maybe a good one to work with. So that is going to wrap it up for this video. Um, I don't believe we have anything coming up this week, so I won't see you guys until next Monday. So I hope everybody has a really great week. I hope something in this video um, is helpful to you. Um, and uh, if you think that it'll be helpful to somebody else, please share, uh, share the video or tag a friend or whatever. <laughs> please like comment subscribe ring the bell um <laughs> whatever it is you're supposed to do wherever you're watching from so thanks for watching guys uh thank you for being here with me and um love you guys and as always remember please be kind um it's not only going to improve your day it's going to improve somebody else's day and it could potentially change someone's life for the better and it doesn't cost us anything so why not, right? Bye.